Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's video, we're going to be assessing the EURUSD for the new year. The EURUSD in February and March 2020 lifted to 1.1400 and was driven by the pandemic beginning to take hold in the United States and weakening the dollar. However, as conditions worsened in Europe, the pace swung back in the other direction to a low of 1.0700 in the market mayhem and volatility which ensued as traders tried to decipher which economy was fearing better than the other. As the US dollar index, a weighted indicator of the strength of the dollar against the so-called major currency pairs including the euro began to sink, the euro which by volume is the largest traded major currency moved higher to its current level of 1.22 at the time of writing. The reasons are largely twofold. Firstly, the European Central Bank took measures to shore up the economies within the Eurozone, which was seen to be sensible under the circumstances, and where the pandemic seemed to be taking a break in the Eurozone, while still growing exponentially within the United States, causing harm to the American economy. It was perceived that the United States government were not being as cautious and sensible as the Europeans with regard to instigating lockdown measures, including the wearing of masks and social distancing, and with the policies of stimulus needed to shore up against the US economy against the pandemic causing more dollars to be pumped into the system, thus affecting its value negatively. Traders will be eyeing the 2018 high at 1.2469 as their next target, with the new year opening and traders looking to adopt longer view trading positions for the first quarter of 2021. Potential for the continued upside momentum will be buoyed by the fact that the European Union will be rolling out vaccines to the population, and where a free trade deal between the EU and UK was agreed on the 24th of December 2020. This will help give a lift to the euro because the worry of a negative economic impact of the UK leaving on WTO trading rules will have now been abated. Traders will also factor in the relentless slide of the US dollar index below the key 90.00 level. This could cause further downside potential to 88.0 and even lower again, causing markets to buy euros against the dollar. If you enjoyed the video, then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.